All right, what's up guys? And today we're here with another review. It's a Marvel review once again. And it is about the Incredible Hulk. So, this is number three of the series of like the MCU review, but I'm also gonna review another one, like in other movies. And I think the next review will end up being Despicable Me 4, but I'll decide at the end of the video. Anyways, let's get on with the review. So starting off, the main character, um, Bruce Banner, Edward Norton as Bruce Banner. Um, I think his character is decent. I, I wouldn't say it's good, but I, I wouldn't say it's bad. I, I would probably give it a 6.5 out of 10. Um, Edward Norton, some people say he has a better job. He, he does a better job, or he is a better version of the Hulk in the MCU than uh, Mark Ruffalo, but... To me, I don't know, because Mark Ruffalo has, like, a better high, but he has a way, like, lower. Like, Edward Norton, you know that he was decent, so I would give a 6.5. Next up, um, we have side characters. I, I don't remember, so I'm not going to say a rating. And we have action. Um, I think there was about three action sequences that I can remember at the start, in the middle, and at the end. Um... I think the action itself, there there needed to be more. I feel like we needed to see more of the Hulk. The first one, I don't really consider that an action sequence. But I would say 6 out of 10. It was all right. I mean, I think there needed to be more. But, I mean, it wasn't bad. And so And it wasn't really good either. But I still think it was all right. Next up, fighting scenes. I did think the final fight was good, so I would give the final fight like a 7 out of 10. Um, the one in the middle, I would give it like a 6 out of 10. It was alright, I mean. Um, so, I will put it in the middle, and I will put it like a 6.5 out of 10. Um, I really feel like, though, I want to see more of the Hulk actually fighting in the future. But, it wasn't bad fighting scenes, I mean... I, I I thought the final fight was actually pretty good. I would maybe give it more than a 7. Maybe 7.5, maybe 7.25. But it, it had decent fighting scenes. Next up, the story. I thought it was alright. I mean, I feel like there could have been more questions. Or I had some questions like how he got in his powers and stuff. I feel like that part was a little rushed. But besides that, actually 5. It, it was mid, to be honest. Uh um, didn't really understand it. They didn't explain it enough, and I just felt like it was just more yapping and yapping and talking and about the story and not enough, like, what's actually going on. Um, the acting, I would give it a 6 out of 10. It, it, it's all right acting. I mean, nobody really gave, like, an outstanding performance. You could really say Edward Norton had a, a, a good performance of Hulk, but really nothing um out of the ordinary um and i mean yeah pacing i i do think this is one of the slow movies um i would have to give it like a three three point five out of ten it, it was really slow for like the beginning to the middle of the movie and then after that it did get back to normal but it, it was kind of a slow movie um cinematography it looked mid i mean at some points like in the middle like when hulk uh you know like at the library or no when they like shoot the smoke things into that like kind of glass thing um, and he starts, like, fighting the army. That part, like, I, I could really see some parts where, like, I was like, ooh, that, that doesn't look good. And, but it didn't really look really good at all. Um, besides the Hulk, I guess. I, I liked how the Hulk looked, but nothing really out of the extraordinary once again. So, I would give it, like, a 5 out of 10. And last but not least, I would probably give this movie a solid... 4 out of 10. This movie is is not good. I mean, if you were to skip this movie in the MCU, I would be like, hey, I don't blame you. 
and the importance of this role, let's add that as a bonus. There's like zero like importance. Like the, there if you were to watch She Hulk, there'd be a little bit of importance, but actually no, there 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 would be a lot of importance. I'd say it'd be like a solid eight out of ten for the importance of She Hulk. But that's She Hulk. And yeah, I mean it it is slow. The story is mid. The characters are all right. I mean, I remember the girlfriend. Um, I didn't like the... Oh, the villain. Uh, I didn't like the villain. Um, really, really forgettable. I'm like Elon Blinsky or whatever the freak. And yeah, it's a forgettable movie. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Probably going to be Despicable Me 4. And peace.